We're back here 15 minutes past the hour on a Thursday, inching closer to the weekend. Yeah, let's check in with Aaron. He has some good news for this weekend and Father's Day. Yeah, we're going to be talking about those temperatures warming well into the 60s, some sunshine returning, and we could even be talking about some locations warming near 70. We saw some peaks of sunshine yesterday. It was a gorgeous latter half uh, of our Wednesday. That's where those temperatures uh, warmed into the upper 50s. A, a nice sunset out towards parts of the Kenai as well. But uh, you can see this morning those overcast skies quickly thickening up. And we've got some rain showers that's occurring uh, out near the coast. It's going to stay with us uh, through the day on into tomorrow as well. A uh, widespread rain also making a return to uh, southeast where we're going to see uh, uppers of an inch of rainfall through the southern inner channels and then from uh, Lake and Peninsula out towards Bristol Bay and even uh, as you head out towards uh, Norton Sound seeing some of that light rainfall uh, continuing this morning. So that active wet and cool weather pattern we continue to remain locked in place with it. Uh, however, there is signs that as we welcome in the weekend we're going to see a ridge of high pressure beginning to nose its way uh, into southwest as well as south central and that is going to lead to some drier warmer and sunnier conditions. So just some spot showers expected today for inland locations. Uh, while we'll see some scattered activity out near the coast, those temperatures warming uh, into the upper 50s, potentially the lower 60s from the Copper River Basin into the valley. Uh, heaviest rain for South Central will be Kodiak. An inch and a quarter looks possible by nightfall. Uh, and then you can see the heaviest rain really shifting out towards the southern inner channels for southeast. Uh, as we welcome in uh, your Thursday evening on into Friday. But our best chance for inland locations for South Central comes Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, just a quick isolated to scattered uh, showers looking possible. And then we dry out into the weekend with some sunshine making a return. And those temperatures are going to warm quite nicely into the 60s. So through this afternoon or early evening, you can see the heaviest rain uh, for South Central again will be near the coast. Whittier could see up to four tenths of an inch of rainfall. Uh, while the rest of the coast sees anywhere from a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain. Uh, inland spot showers possible, but again, the best chance of rain comes late Friday night into early Saturday morning. That's where we could uh, see upwards of about a tenth of an inch of rain for inland locations. So uh, no widespread rain expected across south central, but we are going to keep that chance for some rain with us. Uh, through at least Saturday morning. We've got up to two tenths of an inch of rain across uh, the Kenai. Uh, Kodiak again seeing over an inch with some winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. Uh, up to four tenths of an inch of rain for Whittier. Those temperatures staying in the low to mid 50s. Lighter rainfall totals expected for Valdez and Cordova. Uh, the Copper River Basin also staying on the drier side uh, with just some spot showers looking possible. The, uh, into the valley, we're going to see those temperatures warming into the lower 60s, those clouds thickening up. So we are going to uh, hold with those uh, mostly cloudy to overcast skies both today as well as tomorrow. And then those clouds begin to break away this weekend. Uh, there it is, Father's Day, as those highs top out in the upper 60s. Uh, we've been talking about it so far this week that the longest stretch of 60-degree days we've seen so far this season, uh, two, to three to, uh, two to three days depending on where you live. But that right there, six consecutive days, potentially even longer, of seeing those uh, temperatures in the 60s. Maybe summer is finally trying to uh, Can't wait. Better late than never. Yeah. Thanks, Aaron.